Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today we've got looks at space weather. Remember, we expect a CME to arrive this evening. We're also going to hit a deadly earthquake, deadliest in a while. We're going to look at a hurricane developing and see a crazy discovery in space, but we are starting with the last 24 hours on our star and it was fairly calm. Could have been bad to get another solar eruption launched our way yesterday, but luckily it's just the previous blast that's set to hit tonight by itself. We still have some eruptive risk to monitor, but first a quick reminder. Two days ago, the sun fired a long-duration M2 solar flare from near center disk. Plasma was clearly pushed up and away, and the coronagraphs show a full halo ejection. The shockwave is heading directly for Earth. NOAA forecast level 2 or 3 geomagnetic storm conditions tonight and tomorrow. Auroras could be outstanding in the nighttime skies for 24 to 48 hours. We will be watching closely for that impact this evening. Interestingly, before the impact, we have the proton flux rising again for some reason. Remember, this proton storm was unexpected to begin with, and now it's trending back upward, again unexpectedly, here this morning. We are still going to be monitoring our star for more eruptions as one set of sunspots begins departing and the other is incoming from the north. And folks, today is the 166th anniversary of the Carrington event the X-100 Super Flare the Sun unleashed in 1859. They say if it happened again today, it could black out the entire planet. 90% of people could die in six months due to lack of critical infrastructure like heating, hospitals, food refrigeration, or water sanitation. It's nothing if your society isn't electro-dependent, but we are. Scientists know these events happen from the sun every 150 to 200 years, and today, it's been 166 years since the last one time running out. Folks, cultural aggravations aside, this is horrifying. Over 800 dead, thousands injured as a 6.0 strikes Afghanistan. It was very shallow and the surface took all the shaking. Can't even really show you the images coming out of the region. They are that brutal. It is possible the death toll surges even higher today. Folks, we've got Tropical Storm Kiko in the East Pacific. It is definitely going to strengthen here this week into a hurricane, and if we zoom in on the forecast, it is heading in Hawaii's direction. We'll see how strong it gets and how long it lasts. Lastly, folks, this is crazy. They're using solar peculiar motion to reveal that something is very, very wrong with how we understand the cosmos. They find that the peculiar motion is in the direction of the galactic center. I will add that that's likely the electrostatic attraction of the core and the incoming waves of the current sheet, but they also say this violates the cosmological principle, a foundation of our scientific understanding. I swear, the world of science is so darn close to having no choice but to tear it all down and start again, which is of course quite poetic. Today our special issue on solar forcing of society and civilization is coming out. It'll be about two weeks until the monthly science rundown. When you sign up for our twice a month e-magazine observer review, you get access to all past issues immediately. That's hundreds of pages of tier one science for less than a combo meal at McDonald's. At Observer Ranch, we have several more big events before the year ends. Head over to ObserverRanch.com to check out the event list and book your stay. November looks like it is going to be wild. Several major events. All links are found below the video for today's science. The homework videos, the e-magazine Observer Review, and of course, ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.